Hey, what's up everybody, Adobe Masters here. And today I'm gonna to be showing you how to create heat waves or really a heat displacement map. And basically what that looks like is this. Let me show you it right here. So you see that we have this footage and if you look really closely right down here, you can see that there's some waves coming in. And they aren't extremely discernible because that's kind of what we want. We just want the slight effect. And basically what these could be used for is you can you know, attach them to an explosion or some burning fire to make it look more realistic. Or in this case, I'm taking this piece of footage and if we go over into the effects and turn everything off, it looks very blue and very cold, like a, just a regular cold day actually from this footage. But what I wanted to do is turn it into footage that looked like it was in the middle of summer, something really hot. So basically what I did was I color corrected it, added a little lens flare, flare so you can kind of see the sun better. And then I just went ahead and threw this displacement map on there. And you can see that the little heat waves kind of really sell the effect. It makes it look like a really hot summer day. So then let's get started with this effect. First thing we're going to need to do is create ourselves a new composition so we can get started. Then we're going to need to drag in our footage. I'm going to go ahead and copy the footage from the other one just because I don't have to recolor correct it. So yeah, so I'm just basically throwing in a piece of footage, color correcting it down to orange, and then throwing a lens flare at the top to make it have a cool little lens flare right there. So then let's get started, I guess, on the displacement map. So basically what you gotta do is you gotta go up here, click new, and then solid. And what we're creating here is the map itself. Basically displacement map is going to look at this map and it's going to displace however this map is displacing. It'll make more sense as we continue along. So let's create ourselves the solid. And then what we're going to want to do is we're going to go into effects and presets and find in simulation CC particle systems 2. You can use any particle system for this. If you have trap code particular or something like that and you want to use it, go for it. But this one, it uh, comes with After Effects. So, you know, it's free if you don't have any other ones. And it works pretty good for this situation. So as you can see, a particle system, it has a point and it just emits particles from that point. But you can do some pretty neat things with it. Let's go ahead and adjust our particles so that we really get this map working. First thing we want to do is we want to lower this position down. So we want it down here near the bottom. We want the waves to start from the bottom and come up because that's kind of how heat waves usually work. The heated stuff on the ground is emitting the waves back into the air so you get those heat waves. We're then going to increase the radius. And the reason we want to do this is because waves don't just start at the center. They're coming from everywhere and then heading up. So we don't want them just coming from the center. We want them coming from like a box on the bottom. Next thing we're going to go do is in physics, we want to go ahead and reverse that gravity. So instead of it falling, we want them all to be slowly rising like this. And then we kind of want to lower that uh, velocity down a tad too. We don't want them flying. We want them slowly drifting upwards. So we have that going. Um, next thing we want to do is we want to go into the particle itself. And let's go ahead and change this down to a faded sphere. F sphere. Uh, the reason we want to do this is because waves and stuff like that are very rounded. They're, they don't have harsh edges. And so when we use the displacement map, we don't want to use something with harsh edges. So we're going to go ahead and increase the birth size about there, the death size a little bit less than that, but not too much. And we kind of have this this forming right here. And you can kind of see that if we displaced, you know, using this, that it might start looking like waves. Next thing we want to do is we're going to change the birth and the death color both to red. I'm going to explain that later when we actually get to the birth map. So we have all these settings going. Um, I think it's pretty good for right now. And now we're in a point where we can actually test it out and see if it, it works well for the the scene. So what we're going to do is we're going to pre-compose this. You can right click on this and click pre-compose or you can click on it. You can hit control shift and then C. And then what we're going to want to do is we're going to move all attributes into the new composition. We're going to click OK. And what it does is it creates a new composition with the elements that we selected. So, you know, we could select 40 elements and throw them into a new composition, but we're just doing the one because it needs to be in its own composition to be able to be read as a heat map. So now that we got this going, let's go ahead and go into, let's drop this down here so that we can't see it anymore. Um, we don't want to see it past this point because it is now just an object that we're referring to. So we're going to go over here. We're going to search displacement map, displacement map. Um, it's under distort displacement map. Click that and we're going to drag it onto our footage. So then we're now into the displacement map. Uh, what we want to do is we want to use for horizontal display, we want to use red. That is why we selected the red, so it knows what we want to use. Um, it's not going to do any vertical displacement because heat waves don't exactly do anything vertically. So we kind of want the opposite color to make sure that it isn't distorting vertically at all. 
We want to hit wrap pixels around because we don't want it to like grab anything and have areas of black on the edges. And then what we want to do next is we want to actually choose it. So up here in displacement map layer, we're going to go down into medium comp. We can rename this if we want to, to like map. And then now you'll see once we get in here, um, going back to the displacement map, just choose the one that is the map. So we have map selected. And just like that, you see, you got some beautiful little heat waves going through it. And what's really neat about this is, so this is actually looking pretty good just from the basics. Maybe it's a little bit too intense. So, you know, if you think it's too intense, double click on this composition. Now you're back into the particle system and you can actually just go in here and start, you know, readjusting it to get it to how you kind of want. So if we increase the, let's see, the randomness maybe a little bit more, uh, decrease the birth size some, decrease the death size some, maybe a little back up there. We can go back into our composition and now you see the effect is a little bit more subtle just because we've changed the map that it's reading from. So it's going to change the displacement. If we lower the particles in here, it's going to just change how the particles um, affect the displacement map, which is going to change the displacement overall. That is it on this effect. I hope that uh, it helped you guys create those heat waves that you want to create. Remember, you can always keep going in here, readjusting it, um, finding those settings that really work for you so that you can get the, the heat waves that you want. If you want them really extreme or really light, you can always go back and edit them. Thanks everyone for joining me. Um, if you want to see more videos similar to this and stuff like uh, Adobe related content, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you've got any questions, comments, or suggestions for future tutorials, throw those in the comments below. And until next time, guys, see ya.